We are back on some Akuma MC Skyblock. I forgot to turn my audio on. That's what I was gonna do. What I wanna do is I wanna take the best possible spawner real fast, which is our witch spawners. We only have 29 of them. I can't buy more, but we only have 29. I wanna buy some scrolls for it. This is kinda to see if I even need to move them to another area. I'm probably actually gonna move them specifically, and I'll keep everything else in here, and just not worry about that. Bye-bye, guys. You don't need to be in there anymore. Um, and for now as well, I'm gonna go ahead and move these guys right there cool all i have to do is put these guys down and i i know one's already gonna go ahead and uh die but that's fine and then i want to go ahead and get some more scrolls for these guys um i realize one other thing i do need to do though a legendary chunk hopper and put it there and if i'm not mistaken that's in yes in this chunk all of the items from these guys uh that are dying in this chunk are gonna go into here maybe i need to give them a platform maybe they're falling too fast that's probably what it is. Now, let's see. Now, they are dying, and we are, or should be, should, should be, should be. Yeah, okay, I see it. It's just very fast. It's the sugar. Okay, so this is working. Now, there's another thing we can do to make this part more efficient. Now, the reason I did this is because I want to just basically separate my best spawner from the other ones, uh, or at least my current best spawner, so that it can actually get... Oh, I can't afford level fives. Uh, well, let's just buy level one. So that should be slightly more loot, which is going to be absolutely amazing. Uh, hopefully that'll make us more money. But to be honest, I don't really know. We also have our potato farm set up, which I'm actually going to go ahead and start off by shopping this up. And then we'll move on to some quests. I'm not sure where we left off, but it uh, it's going to be something for sure. I got a stack of keys, a stack of cloud keys and 10 storm keys beautiful this farm is absolutely beautiful i love being able to just fly through and shop the crops so it wants us to head into the logging area or the yeah the logging world the only thing is i don't really have an axe i don't have an axe at all uh there we go we got an axe oh it comes with efficiency that's nice now this axe isn't the best so i kind of actually want to check on auction house nobody's selling tools okay there was a time i got actually pretty deep into this update but it's been a while now the number one thing is like the fishing area we also have a dude here the to sell things to actually sorry this guy over here is the guy i'm looking for who you can hire for gems for a certain amount of time and he will chop trees for you then we also have the soul well which we take souls to and well we we do stuff with them i don't actually know i've, I've rarely gotten souls we've got quests of course break 100 trees 500 trees five souls 2500 logs this is another feature that's also really cool we got these special enchanted trees that actually uh, actually give us i believe more wood also these nice little crit points we gotta hit these things will make us chop through these a lot quicker um and later on it gets it gets pretty insane when you get a really good axe this actually becomes a little bit fun also to realize, I do also have these other pet eggs, so uh, normally I start off by opening one. So let's go and open up this normal pet egg, and then we'll open up this holy pet egg after. We got ourselves an XP pet. Legendary's not bad. Uh, I guess before I put it away, I'll go and open this guy as well and see what we get. Something good. Something good. Oh, oh yeah, that's good. Oh, that's really good. Well, I guess now we just chop some trees. Now, the only other thing is, I don't have a satchel, so my inventory will fill decently quick, but it shouldn't be that quick. I have to actually do the command forest. That's so obnoxious. I know the Holy Chopper bet actually has a really low proc chance. Like, I mean, it's like a 2.60, which is actually pretty damn decent. But I guess it's like one in every 50 trees, um, roughly. But it doesn't proc that often. It is, it is so bad. Ooh, we got two enchanted trees. One here and one here. Fun fact, they used to actually just give enchanted wood, but they were like, that's annoying. Let's just not do that. Let's just make it give more, which is basically the same thing as increased value. <gasps> a book, finally! Oh my god. Okay, turn this pet off for a minute. Let's go ahead and sell everything we have. 10,000. 10,000 is not bad, considering the lack of work we actually had to do. Now, there are certain enchants that I prioritize above all else. Efficiency is one of them. And of course, we have efficiency. So we've got transfuse, which is the next tier ore, which is technically the next tier log, or extra keys, which is very good. That is a very good enchant, actually. I believe that's one of the higher tier enchants. But here's the thing. Efficiency basically just does more damage to the tree, and I want that gift. So you can see now I'm doing more damage. I can't remember the exact amount of damage I was doing when I would hit the crit, but now I'm doing 20 damage instead of whatever, well, whatever it was. I want to say it was like 14 or something. We should be around like 75 trees right now. Which is not too bad. Um, we only need 100. Oh, hey. What's up, man? Level 7. Are we gonna get to the next area already? Ooh, ultimate skill level 5. <gasps> oh, god, ultimate spirit. Hey, man. Oh, you hurt, you hurt, you hurt, you hurt. 
bro, how many of these guys am I going to beat up before I get a reward out of it? I'm curious. We've only been at this for probably about 15 to... 10 to 15 minutes maybe i'm not 100 certain about how long i've actually been in here how long since i actually activated that guy i guess we can go check i do want to see though how much he's made us man i have no idea where this man is he just kind of left uh if i if i leave and come back he'll be at the start he is out there somewhere in the world chopping trees for me i guess so he's only been going for five minutes and he made us uh 4k not bad it's not too bad i thought it was a lot longer man my perception of time is very bad and quest completed i literally needed one more Get logging to tier 5. Done. See, is it just me or, like... I, maybe it's because I'm... Because it'd be a rank benefit? I don't know. I feel like these quests are not... Not lined up properly. Like, there's basically no point in having this quest because by the time I finish the other quest, I'm already level 5. Get your spawner limit perk to level 3. Uh... What do I have to do for that? Kill 10,000 mobs. Like, we came in, it's like, yeah, just chop 100 logs. All right, now get to level 5. Oh, you're already done? Okay, you can leave now. It's like, uh, what? I'm at least gonna get to level 10 so that we can get the uh, reward for this, the airdrop, because I feel like that is gonna be super awesome. That is the next area, I do believe. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to kill 10,000 in debt. That just seems unreasonable. Even killing 10 per hit, although 10 per hit, I guess I didn't unlock it. I didn't even think about it. Wow, that's that really sucks. I guess we'll open up some things. Um, of course, I'm saving this for last, but I'll go and open up this epic airdrop. I'll open up some keys while we let these guys spawn in for a bit. And yeah, another grinding robot. You have to build an area over one of these that essentially I can kill more dudes. So that actually really sucks. Um, for now, I'm just going to put them up. I wish you could, it was set up in a way where if, if your inventory was full, it would just start dropping at your feet. That way you could just have a chest going to just pick the stuff up. I'm just check it in. We're still going hard, guys. Don't worry, but... It's taking a while because it's just, it's so much. Like, our inventory fills so fast and we have to keep doing salvage all. I kind of would love a change in the future where maybe the reward filter is just an auto salvage. Maybe make that a perk benefit or something. I don't know. Dude, this is insane. This might be a valid strategy for Island Top. Literally save all of your Tempest keys until the end of the season, like, or just one week. And just slam them home. This is a ridiculous amount of spawners. Um... It might be too many spawners, actually. We still have some things to open, but I'm going to save those for now. I'm going to go and use this consumable. I don't know how insane this is going to be, but I'm excited. I want to also activate this guy and this guy. And then let's activate this consumable and start smacking this guy. Oh, it's actually satisfying watching the number go down in increments of 10 rather than 1. But I still don't think I'm going to be able to kill 10,000. I'd have to kill... Or I'd essentially have to kill 1,000, which actually isn't that bad. I kind of fuck with that. Oh, wow. What the hell? We were at like a, a thousand something. We've doubled that already. Wait, we can do this super easily. The fact that we could actually genuinely beat this today is kind of crazy. Although, let's see. 300 seconds. That's like five minutes, isn't it? The worst part is after grinding this, I'm probably gonna have to grind even more. So that kind of sucks. Although, I would like to I would like to take a break in between this, but I'm not gonna be able to because I want to just power through until this consumable ends. 127,000. Oh my god, wait, these guys are really good for making money. Oh, wait, is my time already up? <gasps> no! That really sucks. I guess that means, one, I want to check my pass, actually. But I guess it's more openable time. So let's open up all 15 of these normal pet eggs and see what pets we get. Hopefully some decent ones, but I have a feeling we're not going to get anything too decent. I'm basically getting rid of anything that is below Mythic tier masterful skill pet that one i kind of care about if i want to just grind skills ever that's insane all right and now for our 16 holy pet eggs now i know i don't get a lot of these so this is actually really exciting um i don't know what rarities i have that are good i have mythic and i have legendary for those guys masterful mythic the only thing i need is, is a better of that guy or i guess technically better of the other guys so same deal if it's not mythic it's going away that was actually some pretty good pets. We got, like, an upgrade or two, I think. And let's go and open up our two V-Kit clusters, starting with the first one. We get ourselves some keys, 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 money, legendary auto sell chest, and... 80 silverfish spawners. Okay. And now, for our last V-Kit cluster, we get ourselves legendary auto sell chest, villager spawners, money, keys, keys, and... Five grinding robots that I don't have space for. Things are going to get crazy when we get uh, get to a stack, but that is for the future. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. If you didn't, you haven't yet, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe for more, and join the server. All the information is down in the description. I'll see you guys in the next one.